Hammerhead. Hammerhead skull is reinforced by adamantium, making his head flat on the top, all the same. This hardened head criminal's frequent run-ins with Spider-Man have caused him to have no shortage of headaches. Hello and welcome to Central End's Corner and today we are reviewing from Spider-Man the Marvel Legends retro line Hammerhead. Now this is the last one in the wave with the Ben Reilly armoured Spider-Man, the black suit Spider-Man Shocker and Hobgoblin. So this is the last one in the wave and I thought it was on the shelf at Smith's for $17.99 I think because he's probably the most unpopular one out of the line. I can see why, I mean the kids are not going to want the guy in a suit but for us Spider-Man fans and stuff like that you know we actually recognise this guy and he looks really nice as well. So here he is in that kind of retro old Spider-Man from the 90s card, hammerhead running at you on the side and then a nice looking hammerhead here. We've got separate hands plus we have a baseball bat as well. Turning it around we've got the rest of the figures that are in that line and please to say we have completed it. How you can change the hands and a little bit of a bio. So I guess without further ado let's just crack this bad boy open. <laughs> So here he is in his blister pack, just how he is on the front of the card. So we're just going to pull him out for our first impressions. And um, he's looking pretty cool. I mean, recently we did pick up the kingpin as well. So I will be taking some pictures, putting him next to him. I just love that face. Looks really cool. Like, quite realistic compared for the forehead. Maybe it's Ant or Ant and Deck, isn't it? I guess. <laughs> anyway, we're going to put him through his paces and we see you in a moment. Taking his photos and what can I say? Wow, wow, wow indeed. Hasbro, you've really gone to town with these Marvel Legends figures of late. It's really good. It's really nice to see as well. Just apply it to the Black Series now and again. It'd be really, really appreciated to be honest. So yeah, looking at this guy, he's just really nice looking. They've just, they just done a lot of detail on him. He comes with a few accessories, which mainly are open palmed hands and stuff. So he comes with one of each really. We've got like a punch in hand. Uh, on this one and then the other hand that it comes with is kind of like an open palmed hand as well on this one so I'll put the other one in here uh, when he's in the packet he has both closed clenched fists so I'll put the one where he can hold the baseball bat with this one unfortunately on these sort of like left hand which is this one here uh, it's just plain Jane and but on here on his closed fist he's actually got a uh, knuckle duster on there which is pretty cool and if you actually look it actually reads head that's punched in on the actual uh, knuckle duster there, which is pretty cool. So unfortunately, they haven't put that on the open palmed hand. But then we can say, you know, his, his hands open, so he's not going to have a knuckle duster on there. But uh, yeah, it would be cool. The other accessory that it comes with is a brown baseball bat. Uh, it's just done in a sort of very kind of plain, glossy kind of plastic on there that fits in that hand pretty well. But where this guy comes into is, is his articulation as well. For a guy in a suit, you know, he's pretty nimble, to be honest. With his head, you go left, right, you can look down, and he can look up. So it's really quite cool. You can get him into those sort of running poses as well as looking up as well. He has got lower neck movement down here, but it's really hard to get to because it's quite lower down in that collar here. There's no butterfly joint, but you can rotate all the way around, and it can come up to about this far here. We've got the rotation at the arm. He's got a double elbow joint rotation, and a little hinge at the at the wrist as well. Waist wise, it can come up the bottom down here, goes around this way. Can't really look forward because it's all behind all this kind of plastic part and then back is obviously impossible to get to. Legs wise, can open up this far, a little bit hindered here because of this is quite all one piece. So it gets quite thick, so the, it really holds down the legs. But forward and back, upper thigh rotation here. We have a double knee joint with pinless sockets on here as well, which is quite nice. And then we've got the rocker and a pivot at the ankle. But also, I just think really in the detail of this guy, he just looks really cool. I just look, really like the face sculpts on there. It's kind of like realistically done. Uh, we've got that kind of little tiny moustache in there as well. Kind of look, looks a bit like Gomez. Uh, and cool but I just I just really like the look of it yeah you've got a high forehead and up here but that's actually 
what distinguishes Hammerhead, you know, from the other villains. But the suit, really love the suit. Uh, with all the little creases and the lines, the pinstripes as well, the pinstripes should I say, is uh, really clear and really crisp as well. And down on the arms, we've got all the folds and the creases in the right area. You know, to be honest, they could have just done a, a very kind of plain Jane kind of um, outfit and it would probably look the same to be honest. But with all these extra creases and stuff in there, it's really cool. Round on the back as well, the creases along here and draping down. But for me, it's actually, I know it sounds really stupid, but the actual detail for me is in the legs. Like these really indent creases here on these trousers and stuff. I think it's, you know, it's kind of like unnecessary, but it's really cool to see. It makes it look really realistic and stands out. And that's a really good bit of detail, uh, in my opinion. So it's really nice, like in the material part of there. I know it sounds really stupid for just a bit of trousers that are kind of hanging down. But I think it's a really good detail. I think it looks really nice. And then we got these nice glossy shoes that kind of finish him off as well. So yeah, looking really cool. Kind of a base, basic figure in it. And it's just the guy in the suit. So, um, but we can actually do a height comparison as well. So this is a, a normal retro Spider-Man. Uh, ben Riley put him next to him. So in that size, it's pretty cool. But as we are a Black Series uh, kind of channel mainly, mainly, here is a regular Stormtrooper. Um, making the Stormtrooper looking pretty short to be honest to be a Stormtrooper when you compare him next to the Marvel Legends but um, it's nice to have a comparison there and I always think the Marvel characters are more bigger than realistic anyway so they're kind of a larger a larger base so but they still don't look out of place when you actually take photos of them anyway so what do you think of this guy do you think he's worth picking up would you actually pick this guy up now after seeing this review let me know in the comments down below you can subscribe ding the bell follow me on instagram and i'll see you next time take care bye